Hey everybody, it's Luke over at Galaxy Tech Review, and today I've got a product from Vibeat. This is the OxyRing Pulse Oximeter, and this is good if you want to wear this while you're sleeping uh, for overnight readings to see how your SpO2 or oxygen level does overnight or for longer periods of time. We're going to dig into this now, and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is everything that you get once you get the OxyRing out of the box. Of course, you're going to get the main unit itself, and you're going to get a little bit of documentation here as well. You do get a warranty card. Uh, you do get a user guide for the vHealth mobile app, which is available on iOS and on Android. Uh, this is going to be in English uh, and I believe in Spanish as well. Uh, but that is the app that you will use to connect the device to your phone or tablet, whatever you're going to be monitoring on. Now the user manual for the OxyRing is written in English here. It's well laid out. Uh, there are some specifications here that I will leave up. So if I miss anything, uh, you can come back to this point in the video and check it out. Now this, it takes about two, a little over two hours to char charge and you will get 12 to 16 hours of a typical use per charge. So this will definitely last overnight for you. It runs on Bluetooth 4.0 uh, low energy. Uh, and uh, you can check out the rest of the specs if you need to. Now you do get a charge cable here, and it's a standard USB Type A to micro USB, so no USB Type C here, but that's okay. I have plenty of micro USB cables here, and you can plug this end into any laptop, uh, PC, uh, USB uh, to charge this up. And again, it takes about two hours to totally charge the unit from zero to 100, or you can use something like an AC to USB adapter that you probably have from your phone or your tablet. Taking a look at the main unit itself here, uh, it's got a little OLED screen in it, a uh, little capacitive touch button. What I really like about it is that it's super small, super light and compact, can easily be put in your pocket to take with you or anything like that. There is a uh, little flip down here for that micro USB charge port uh, that you have here on the end. Uh, and that just kind of sits there like that. Uh, and you'll slide this on your finger depending on what finger you want to use. And uh, it will automatically turn on when it's charged. And I need to charge mine up. Uh, but this frees up your hand. It's not like a fingertip uh, pulse oximeter where it gets in the way. This actually, you can wear this while you're doing things uh, that you need your hands for. Uh, and this works out really well. Now it's got a comfortable silicone grip to it. Uh, and it kind of stretches to fit uh, any one of your fingers here. And uh, we're going to charge it up and get it hooked up to the app and show you exactly how this works. Okay, so starting out, you're going to need the vHealth app. Again, it's available for Android and for iOS. I have the Android version here. Uh, and you can open this up. You'll have to create an account. Uh, and if you have other things, uh, in this, I have other devices that use the vHealth app. You'll see some information here, uh, and you can go to your profile, and it'll say select device or add device, and this is where you can uh, add a device here. So what we're going to do is click add device, and since it is on, you can see it automatically uh, detected the oxy ring. Uh, so we can put that on our finger here, and it'll just take a few moments. You can see the little red uh, light on the inside going here uh, and this is automatically ready to be paired in the app. You don't have to pair it through Bluetooth. The app takes care of everything. Uh, so you'll see that you want to touch the capacitive button. That's what it's telling you to do on screen. So we do that and now we are set up and connected and you can see that there's a little icon on the OLED screen that says that it's Bluetooth to the phone and connected and ready to go. Okay, so now I'm connected to the dashboard part of the app. It's at the uh, bottom middle. You can see real-time information. I wanted to uh, test this against a fingertip pulse oximeter. You can see uh, both oxygen uh, are at 96, 97, and the pulse rate 86, 85, 
85, 84. It's all within one point of each other. Uh, so the Oxy Ring definitely does a good job here. Uh, as you can see, uh, no problems whatsoever picking up my SpO2 and of course my heart rate. Uh, and I have all of this information in the app in real time, which is great. I also have some settings here that I can adjust. Uh, you do have your O2 reminder, so if it drops below 88%, and you can change that threshold to whatever you would like, uh, you can get a vibration. Your pulse rate reminder, low end 50, high end 120 by default. And of course, you can change the vibrations from weakest all the way to very strong, uh, and that will happen as well. Screen mode can be set to always on or to time out to save battery life. And your screen brightness can be low, medium, or high. So this is where that 12 to 16 hours per charge comes. If you have the screen mode on always on and you have the vibration strength at the highest and you have all of them set to the most, then you're probably going to look at more like 12 hours. But if you have it timed out or things like that, uh, then you can get closer to uh, you know, 14, 15 hours out of this. It'll also track your motion. So uh, if you use this while you're sleeping, you can see how much you move around as well. But this is great for tracking your SpO2 uh, while you're sleeping. You'll easily get eight hours, no problem with this. Uh, and you will be able to track your heart rate and your SpO2. And if you go over to history, you can see that the history will be there uh, for what we just did. And I can go into that and then I can uh, look at my average oxygen level, pulse rate, my motion, uh, how long we've been tracking it, things like that. And then I can go up and share this uh, either as a PDF or a CSV file. And I can share this with my doctor or healthcare provider uh, or just keep it for my records. Okay, so that's my review of the Vibeat OxyRing Pulse Oximeter. And I think this is a good solution for anyone who has, uh, you know, a reason to monitor their SpO2 for longer periods of time. Say you have COPD or you have sleep apnea and you want to track these metrics while you're sleeping, this might be the solution for you uh, just so you can keep an eye on your numbers. Overall, I was impressed with uh, the app and how it integrates uh, with this device, being able to track everything and then, of course, export it and save those files for your records or for your healthcare provider. This was Luke from Galaxy Tech Review. I hope you enjoyed my review, and I'll check you guys out on the next one.